Okay, so we've decided we are going to build a fence. No, what you're looking at is not our fence right now, unfortunately, but it will be in the future. Let's come look at what our project entails. This old fence. This is at least 50 years old. It's got all kind of roots and trees and weeds and crap growing around it. So if we come down and look, you can see we have quite a bit of fencing here. To be exact, 280 feet. So, we're going to start ripping this out. I don't know how long it's going to take to rip out. But uh, we're going to rip all this fence out. This, uh, all this wood, trees, crap that I've been cutting through the years. Finally, it's going to be gone. And all the way down here. I'm going to be building fence all the way across here. This side should be a lot easier to clean out. Have a nice privacy fence. So, uh, hopefully we're going to have something that's going to look like this over here. Our neighbors, this neighbor here, had a company actually build this for them. And then the one next to it uh, decided to redo his because his was falling down. And he used to be a fence contractor. I was talking to him. And so he matched it and did it himself. So you can't even tell the difference. So uh, this is our plan. So the fun has about to begin. We called the uh, 811 service to have all of the uh, underground utilities marked. We got one gas line here in the alley, and that's the only thing. Everything else is above us on telephone poles. So that's the only thing we have as far as that. Here we got the other company's AT&T phone says okay. The cable is okay. Encore, okay. That's the electricity. So everything's okay. As you can see, everything comes up above ground in our house. So we're going to be building 280 foot of feet at least in this massive yard we have. Okay, so we got our uh, fence, as you can see, all ripped out. Got a lot of cleanup to do. Still a lot of uh, branches growing. I'll have to cut all this stuff out. A lot more cleanup to do around the fence. What a mess. We had a uh, post. Uh, Puller we found that we rented. Got to cut that stuff out. So we had this uh, fence post puller, and it pulled out the uh, post with the cement and all. So we're gonna clean all this up and uh, next step is to mark our layout the uh, design and mark our uh, spots where we're gonna put our posts and set those in the ground hopefully pretty probably in the later in the week over here the worst side where a lot of this growth has been over the years got all that ripped out looks really good still got to cut up and clean a lot of this up so a lot more cleanup still to go of course the sun comes out now after we been rained on getting this cleaned up yeah. 
so. We'll clean it all up here and hopefully have a uh, fence soon. In the meantime, no run, no free run for the dogs. That's right, no free running. Y'all gotta be on the leash for now on. Okay, 45 posts are in. Come down this side and show y'all. All of our posts down the line. If we come straight across them, we can see how perfectly straight they are. That come to the other side. Perfectly straight posts. Now the next, the rails. Okay, so we have our uh, rails all hung up now. As you can see, come over here. We have the uh, kickboard here, two by six pressure treated kickboard. And then our two by four cedar rails about 32 inches apart here and we use these uh, ties here you can see the name on it to tie the uh, rails to the uh, 2 and 3 8 metal post that we have about two and a half feet down in the ground come around and check it out what we have all the way down here
we're going with the uh, grade of the uh, ground so it slopes down a little bit we have we're kind of on a hill here here's where uh, one of our gates is going to be finish that up when we start putting the pickets on it's about 300 feet of fence that we've uh, are hanging up here as you can see all the rails are hung these are spaced about seven and a half feet apart or less less than eight feet so there you have it rails all the way down and around the house Here's our pile of uh, leftover pieces. And then over here, next up, our pickets. Got about 700 of them. Hopefully that's enough based on the store's calculations, supply company. So uh, now, Time to hang up all of our pickets. These are a full six inch wide picket here. It's a full six inch wide picket, six feet tall. That's what we'll be using. We have all the pickets finally put up. Next step, we're going to put the top trim on the top of the uh, fence. And we also have to cut some of these posts. They're not all at the right height. So we'll cut them and put our caps on. So, but nonetheless, the fence is up. It's official. The fence is finally finished. We got the top trim on. We got the gates hung. All working nicely now. Come around and walk and show y'all a little bit closer up of it. We got the ground, as you can see, leveled, leveled off with some dirt around the edges. It's kind of uh, a lot of different holes on the kickboard. You know, the heels going up and down, so we leveled off the ground. Make sure there's no holes there. Here's one of our gates that we got put up. Works real good. Come down this way. Got our fence board on board. So there you have it. Our fence is finally complete.
Over here on this side, I had a uh, metal frame made for this gate. Because this is almost a five foot wide gate here. I don't want to make sure there's no sagging or movement of this uh, gate since it's so large. So that's what I did here on this gate. Got some uh, hinges on here. So we come around and you can see uh, we got our fence all built. Here's a close-up view of our gate here. Let me uh, open up and show you how it works. Just uh, unlatch it here. Slides open real nice. Real easy movement. Got these hinges here. Come around the other side. Here's the back side of the gate. Here's the back side of the fence also. So, that's what the other side of the fence looks like. Both sides look quite nice. This is the alley, so I really don't care uh, if the posts are showing on this side. Put the nice side inside of our yard. So there you have it. The uh, back side of our uh, fence here. Quite a bit of fence, as you can see.